Hello neighbors, it's Crazy Double D with HD Gaming Live, and I'm here with another review. This is Dex, the Neo Cyberpunk Super Nintendo RPG we never got. Dex does something I truly appreciate. It treats me like an adult. The game never holds your hand, there's no quest markers or lengthy tutorials. There are mature storylines and complex character interactions. You never know what might happen in the presented situations, and you certainly wouldn't want your 10-year-old to know either. This cyberpunk action RPG side-scroller is a proficiently pleasing adventure that does well to capture some of the best of new and old ideas and blend them into a balanced cocktail that will have you coming back for more. Players take on the role of Dex, a young woman living in Harbor Prime, a futuristic world where mega corporations are weaved into the integrated authority known as the Complex. The game kicks off with Dex having to escape the assassins sent by the Complex. She is guided out of danger by a mysterious hacker known only as Raycast. Leading Dex to a group of hackers, Raycast soon has her involved in an underground war taking place between the remnants of free society and the absolute control of the Complex. It's a somewhat typical framework for a sci-fi story that anyone familiar with Shadowrun or Deus Ex will recognize easily. Dex's story is deeply inspired by the cyberpunk novels of William Gibson and other classical cyberpunk authors, flavored with a little contemporary concept of augmented reality. The way the story is presented with the music, dialogue, and cutscenes makes us feel like an almost visual novel, very mature and quite legit. Outside of the main plot, there is a myriad of intrigue to discover. Harbor Prime is an enormous area with a good variety of locales, from the luxurious lofts and high-end businesses of the high-rise to the downtrodden and dangerous alleys of the slums. You'll find yourself exploring for hours and taking on a number of odd jobs from the other characters. The quests end up being fetch quests, but the game does good at placing many of the items that characters ask for in a danger zone, often intertwined with another mission. It comes out feeling quite rewarding. Of course, you'll still have to have equipment and skills to get around the rough terrain and dangerous thugs throughout Harbor Prime. Have no fear. The leveling system of the game allows for points to be put into four core categories, endurance, melee, ranged, and hacking. There are also subcategories that allow access to other facets of the game, such as charisma, lockpicking, and bartering. Every level up in this game provides you with a skill point and a tough decision, as each of the categories and subcategories can add meaningful changes to your playstyle and available options for each scenario. The easy standout for me was hacking. The active hacking system in this game entails entering cyberspace in two ways. Hacking a computer to steal data or damaging enemies and security devices in the heat of combat. Either way, you are given a tiny ship in which to move and interact with whatever you're hacking. The limiter is that each time you enter cyberspace, you are given a life bar or focus to do actions. While you are in cyberspace, viruses will constantly attack your little ship, draining focus. If you do not leave cyberspace and allow your focus to recharge, you will suffer physical damage. It really tasks you with making the most out of every turn in cyberspace. The guns in this game are impactful, but the process to use them is pretty cumbersome. You can assign a weapon to the D-pad, and you press the D-pad direction to draw your weapon. In this state, you can fire, reload, and roll to avoid incoming enemies. But doing anything else or taking melee damage forces you to put your gun away making you press the assigned button again to redraw. Being unable to run or jump with my gun drawn was an annoyance that made me not only veer away from the ranged options, but also give me a tendency to only use guns as a last desperate resort. By endgame, I avoided guns altogether. If these options are not enough for you, then you'll want to take a look at the augments. Augments allow any number of things from bumping up aspects of the core categories like stronger melee or longer hacking, to allowing you to survive toxic gas or electricity. Truthfully, in order to explore every nook and cranny of Harbor Prime, you'll need the augments that allow survival or travel to otherwise unreachable places. But they are not necessary to finish the core game. 
Again, much like the level up categories, augments are true game changers, and you'll want to carefully decide which will suit you best. Dex is great for a lot of reasons. It combines expressive 2D sprites and nostalgic platforming with some grade A modern action RPG mechanics, and it does it well. Players will find a variety of tools to complement their playstyles and a lot of content in which to explore their abilities. Dex will hack her way onto everyone's PS4 on July 29th, 2016. That's today if you're watching it on that day. This is a buy. Hey neighbors, hope you liked the review and found it informative enough to make a purchase or not. I really appreciate the comments. Keep rocking and I'll see you at the next block party.